clicking and typing. And now it's time for real, for real. And you'll know it because here's that theme music. Aw. Hey, here's some jaunty theme music. Oh, and look, here's a jaunty artist. Hi, everybody. My name is Gio Benedetti. I love drawing dragons. So let's draw a dragon together this morning. I like drawing other stuff too. Mostly dragons. Every weekday morning at 10 a.m., here we are. Um, keep an eye out for Darth Bob Ross. He's, he's still been haunting our drawing room. Um, yeah, let's get to it. You're gonna need a pencil and an eraser and a piece of paper. And anything else? Anything else? I get so skittish with Darth Bob Ross right now. All right, let's get to it, you guys. Thanks for joining me of this fine morning. And there goes Puppet Geo. And here comes real life Geo. We're the same, but we're different. Um, all you need this morning, everybody, is a pencil. It could be like a regular old pencil like this. It could be a worn down drawing pencil like this, or it could be a brand spanking new fancy schmancy drawing pencil like this. Doesn't matter. And then an eraser. I've got a big chunky eraser that I'm gonna be using today. And then a piece of paper. Luckily, I mistakenly printed a bunch of stuff this morning. So I have all kinds of scratch paper. Mistakenly printed stuff. Dragon drawing stuff. Bam. Yeah, we dodged a bullet that Darth Bob Ross didn't come by this morning. He is just... <laughs> what are you going to do about that guy? Oh, you can kind of see through it. Let me get see if I can find a fresh sheet that you can't see through. I'll use that one for sketches later. Hey. Welcome everybody to Draw Dragon. Today we are gonna draw, see this castle? I go, I love going to like, there's library bookstore. Like there's usually in a library, there's a place where they sell old books. And then if you guys pay attention once or twice or thrice a year, they sell books. And I got this book at um, a library sale in Salinas, California. And it's called Castles of Wales. And every single page is just awesome castles. Pretty great, huh? So anyway, we're going to draw a castle. And then if we want to, maybe we'll put a dragon on there. But we have been, I got a, I got a phone call today from the uh, official council of fantasy art. And they said that my castle quota was way down. I owed them several castles if I wanted to continue doing fantasy art. So it's castle time. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Hmm. I've got some tea. I thought that maybe if I was drinking tea, Darth Bob Ross would lighten up on me. Don't know. We'll see. We'll probably get a dragon in here, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to aim for a castle, a castle in the distance and maybe a dragon going on in that castle. So check it out. I got a horizon line and I'm going to put a horizon line. Oh, I'm going to come up the page about just a third of the way. And I'm going to draw a line straight across the page. I know it's faint. Don't worry if it's faint. Okay. This is going to be my horizon, which means that this is, this is the disappearing point where all lines are going to converge in the distance. I'm going to make the hillside. If you guys check out this castle that I'm going to be copying, the, the horizon's down here. And then it's got this cool hill. And the hill's coming in at a diagonal, and then it comes up, and then it comes down a little bit. So I'm going to go up. Here's Here's the extreme edge of my page over here on the left. I'm going to go up. Hmm, maybe this is about maybe just above my halfway point. And I'm going to draw this sloping hill. And it's just going to be kind of a ragtag line. It's just kind of following. Maybe it kind of comes up here. And then maybe finally, as I get towards the end of my page over here, I'm going to swoop it down. There. There we go. Now I've got some extreme shadows going on and some extreme edges of pages going on. Just hang with me, you guys. Hang with me. Hi, Lucas. Good to, good to see you, Lucas. If you guys don't have the chat open, my chat is down here on the bottom of my screen. And um, if you open that up, then we can we can chat even though while you're all muted. And if you got something to say, if I start going too fast or if you can't see my lines or if the glare demons show up and they just explode glare all over the page. So we, oh no, like that, oh my God. 
you can let me know if you can't see stuff. All right. Um, maybe there's like, there's a couple layers of this foreground. And sometimes if you guys look over here, there's this grass in the front. And then there's like a little layer of field. And then there's this little shelf back here. And there's a boat over here. I don't really care about that stuff. Really. Look, I'm going to be honest. I don't care about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to indicate some different layers of things. Because as you put different lines here, every single line is going to show things are moving further back. So it'll be good to add some stuff up here, but I don't care about the details so much. But maybe I'll make a little line here like, oh, grassy stuff, maybe a little hill, maybe like another little hill, and then a little hill. Don't worry about the foreground yet. We're going to concentrate on this castle. All right, here's this hillside. Just to show more of the slope of this hillside, I'm going to show some little like greenery bunches coming up the hill. As soon as I do this, that's the slope of the hill. This shows you that it's a sloping hill that's coming down this way. If I had done, check this out. If instead of going at that angle, if I had done this straight lines down or like just like things like this, now it's a cliff side. Now you're looking right at a flat. <laughs> now you're looking at the glare of my, of my screen is really what you're looking at. Okay, but if you can see outside the glare, if I go straight up and down, it looks more like a cliff. But it's not a cliff. It's going to be a, the rolling hillside of Wales. These are great drawing pencils, but they're a little bit light for what we're doing. So I'm going to see if I can go to my little, <laughs> my little nubby pencil. <laughs> see if I can get some darker lines to show up for you guys. Okay, so... I have that little, just some little greenery patches coming up, little bushes, but everything that's coming up the hillside is coming up at this angle to show that this is a hillside that's sloping down like this, okay? If I had to build this paper mache, it would have a wire frame underneath it with all the lines coming down like that, okay? And you can see over here, the lines of the greenery are kind of coming up along those slopes. That's all I want to try and make. It's time to make a castle. Okay, there's going to be a couple really important things for this castle. Let's start our castle over here. We're going to make that big entrance to the castle over here. So I'm going to make a line that's going to go up. I'd say it's getting all the way up to the top fifth. How, how much do you guys like fractions? A lot? <laughs> Um, yes, Wales, UK, absolutely. Sorry, I got excited about drawing and I forgot to look at the chat. Wales, UK, yeah, check it out. This is Castles of Wales and the Welsh March Marshes. That's the book that I have. Makes me want to go there. Um, okay, so here's our, our gate. And now I'm going to draw... These are going to be planning lines, you guys. We're going to come in and really turn this into a castle here in a minute. The top line of this rampart is going to come across. And it's going to be angled slightly up away from me, okay? And then I'm going to come down. Maybe if you guys are feeling like more like Rubik's QB today, this could be it. You could just do a big cube castle on a hill. <laughs> River Drake, have you been to Wales? Do you live in Wales? What's going on? We're a bunch of, I think the rest of us might be. Anyone else been to Wales? I would love to go there. When I grew growing up, I read a bunch of stories called, um, uh, they were by Lloyd Alexander. You're an hour from Wales. River Drake is joining us from the UK, an hour away from Wales. If you can see this castle out your window, tell me if I'm messing it up, okay? I want it to be accurate. Uh, that's so cool. Um, anyway, there's these really cool books by a guy named Lloyd Alexander, and it takes this beautiful mythology from Welsh mythology, and it turns them into these absolutely exciting adventure tales for young readers. And I read all of them many times. But that's not this castle. Here's this castle. Check out this line, you guys. I'm going to make a line that's going to go all the way off the page. And it's going to be aiming, you know, eventually it would hit the horizon way out here. And I have to kind of pay attention to that because all these lines are going to be disappearing to the same place. 
That's the way that our, our eyeballs work with perspective. So I'm going to take this line and I'm going to do a lot of erasing later. We're going to have an awesome erasing montage. But I'm going to have this going all the way off. There's going to be a tower around here and then another tower behind it. No way. Oh man. Okay. I'm just following the chats. River Drake is like naming all of these places from like all of my favorite books. That is so cool. My family and I, my wife and I talked about going on a trip to Scotland and Wales and Ireland. Got some family back there. They have castles. We'll probably just move there. All right, you guys, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this line and I'm going to go pretty much straight down. And there, this is basically, this is the main shape of our castle. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to do the whole castle here. That was this part of the castle. And we're going to do this little part of the wall and we're going to do this back tower and we're going to leave all this other stuff out. Okay. So here's the main part of our castle. And again, making sure I got to pay attention to these lines and I'll show you why it's going to come in really important a little bit later on here. Okay. This line is going to disappear to the same place that this line is going to disappear to. This line is also disappearing to that spot. So it's following, coming out of this tower, it's going to go back, disappearing towards the same place. And this is going to be our wall. Now our wall is going to disappear into a tower. And the tower, because these are going to be the tops of towers, these are the tops of towers, tops of towers, tops of towers, tops of towers. This line, any tower on my castle that I want to be equal in height to these as it disappears into the distance is going to hit this line. Okay. So check it out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a very shallow, very shallow, like little half circle. Yeah. Lucas, when I move <laughs> Greek and Norse mythology, oh man, let's hear it for mythology. You guys, maybe we should do a whole mythology day where we just week month mythology month. And we'll just draw all the cool creatures that they come up with. I'm with you guys. And yes, of course, after I move to Scotland and Wales and Ireland, I'll still do draw dragon. <laughs> now that I've drawn this tower back here, I'm going to draw the lines coming down. Okay. There is our castle. You know what? That's way too far away. You guys don't make it that far away. Look at this. This is, this is so great. Okay. This is the kind of thing where you can leave it and be not happy for the rest of your day, you'll have a bad day. Or look at this. Look at how much open space there is between that front tower. Oh, once I get it out of the glare. Here's the front tower. Here's that back tower. And look how much space I left between the front tower and the back tower. I don't like it. No, sir. I don't like it. So I'm going to erase my back tower. And I'm going to come up here. Yes, much better. I'm going to do the exact same thing. There's my shallow my shallow um, little curve ellipse. And then here is that tower. Now I have a nice robust, there we go. This wall, you're gonna go right about to the middle of that tower. So if you had to make a little line in the middle here, that's where our wall is going to extend to. That's where it's actually connecting to the tower. This part of the tower is curving behind this wall. We can still see it, but it's gonna stop when it hits the top of our rampart, okay? There's more castle bits back here. I'm gonna leave those out. We're just gonna leave them out and we're gonna say, all right, maybe that's where the dragon's gonna be. Maybe there's gonna be a dragon tail or something over there, okay? This is it. Now, where's the light coming from? Where's the light coming from in this picture? The light's coming from where my pencil is. It's pointing this way. So all the stuff on this side of the castle is going to be in shadow. And the backside of this tower is in shadow. It's coming full on the face. So this is, it's coming, I'm going to make a little arrow here so I don't forget. It's coming right at the face of the castle. All of this is shadowed. And the backside of this tower is in shadow. And actually, the wall is shading it on this side, if I look at it. 
So if you want, you can put in some shadow marks. I'm just using the side of my pencil and getting some shading in there. So I don't forget when I go to coloring or whatever, how this light is working. Before I do any shadows here, this is not a, if you guys like your cube castle, leave it. Uh, yeah, Willow, we're doing a Welsh castle, bam, dragon. And if we don't get the castle part right, uh, our dragon drawer, River Drake, is going to tell us because she's like an hour away from this castle. I don't know from the castle. Now I'm just making it. Now I'm just making stuff up. <laughs> but she's over in the UK, close to Wales. She's going to be our, uh, our resident expert today. Okay. Now, if you again, if you like your cube, all you got to do is put a door on it. Done. Cube castle is in effect. But Check it out. We've got these really cool towers with these really cool windows that we want to put in. And maybe some of this stuff up here. So here's how we're going to turn this cube into a bunch of towers. All right. I'm going to see this curve that I did over here. I'm going to do the same type of curve up here. And then these towers get a little bit wider at the base. So if you want, try and bring your line instead of going straight down. See how I'm going to kind of come out just a little bit. Maybe a little bit more on this side. Mm -hmm. That makes it a lot easier for the people building the castle, right? <laughs> Can you imagine? Like if you build a tower like this, way easier to get it to stay up. If you build a tower like this, <laughs> you're gonna get fired because all the townspeople are gonna be like, ah, it's falling on me, help, help. And they're going to run over to this castle over here because this castle is not good. Eh, failed castle engineering school. All right. So let's come back over here <laughs> where, where they, they passed castle engineering school. Okay. So this is a tower and there's another tower right here. This whole thing is also a tower. And these two towers basically connect. There's a little bit of wall in between them, but not even so much as you'd notice, okay? So here's my back tower. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna round off at the top there. The wall that's connecting is just a little, little guy up there. And the way that these two towers are angled, That line is going to come towards me a little bit, towards the left of my page. This is the wall up here. And here's that back tower. And it's going to be shadowed here by the front tower, because the front tower is catching the light and it's casting this shadow that's kind of following the same line as, as the castle here. And then it's shadowed on the back, because remember, our light is coming this way. It's not able to get across. And so there's this little patch of sun and then the whole rest of it is going to be shadowed. And then this front tower, the front of it is going to be in the sun. And this back part is all going to be in the shadow. And as soon as you do these types of things for your shading, this curved line at the top, archers on the tower, absolutely. And this, Naomi, thank you so much. This is where Chauncey lives. I, I've enjoyed our Chauncey comic that we did last Friday so much that I want to do Chauncey comics every Friday. And if you guys have good ideas for Chauncey comics or Chauncey the Gorgeous, please let me know. And let's do some more Chauncey comics. That was so much fun. Archers on the towers, Tatum. Please put some archers on the towers. Okay, and these shadows are not even. Don't don't make like a straight line. These need to be scritchy because this tower is made of stones that are all slightly different shapes and sizes. Okay. We've got we've got this side of our of our castle pretty much pretty much in the bag here. Now let's try and do the front. This was a fake door. I put this door on just because we were goofing around with cube castle. But we're not doing a cube castle, no sir. Here's that front, that front rampart, and here's the back tower. So see how this tower is curved? If this was a, a, a straight tower, it would be a straight line. But because it's curved, I'm going to start my curve 
way back here and it's going to come all the way out. Okay. I'm going a little bit past that planning line I made. Sorry. And it's angled a little bit outwards. You guys see how that's tucked in? There's some, all of these little tucks are what make something look three dimensional. The fact that this back wall here tucks into this tower and that the tower tucks in behind the wall, that makes it look like the wall is going into this circular tower. Over here, I have the top of my wall coming across and I have this back tower tucked in behind it. That sets the tower behind this part of the wall. And now what we're going to do, we're going to do, we're going to make this the, the facade. Okay. So check it out. I'm going to do a little thing here and I'm going to come across here. Straight down here and then there's going to be some shenanigans happening up here. Castle shenanigans with that little rectangle. Okay. And I'll show you what those shenanigans are going to be. It's going to come down to a point, and we're going to have one, two. Underneath here, the people that would be standing on top of the, the wall up here, these would be holes that they could drop stuff on. So that if you were, you and your battering ram showed up to the gates or if they didn't like you and you just knocked on the gate, they would just drop stuff on you through those holes. They would, any old thing, rocks, boiling oil, whatever, whatever they could find, cats. Yeah, sometimes they, they threw cats around. This is true. People in the middle ages were a little strange. Not like we're strange now, we've got it all figured out. But back then, man, people were weird. Good thing we're not weird anymore. This line here is going to be the rest of our facade. So I'm, I'm coming over here. I'm coming in a little bit. I don't want to go right to the edge here. I want that to be a little bit farther to my left. I'm going to pop in just a little bit. And I'm going to draw a line, not straight down, but one that's angling. Because that's the angle of this, this tower. If this tower was a straight up and down tower, this line would be straight up and down. But because these towers get wider at the bottom, okay, this line has to come in, just like this line is going out. Okay, dokie. We're gonna do a now. Now we're gonna get straight. Now we're gonna do a straight line. Straight line up. Straight, uh, not a straight line. This is angled slightly up to my right. And then straight down. Okay. Up, slight angle, straight down. And now we're going to come over here and we're going to add real dark shadow here and real dark shadow up here. That's just part one of our door. The actual door, watch this. I'm gonna creep out here with a little half circle and now I'm gonna complete the door here, finishing that line coming down. And this is all gonna be dark. That's the actual door of our castle. And here is, if you guys wanna put a little window on there, you can put a little window on there. There's so many cool details. This is like the real window. And then there's like little tiny, I mean, there's all kinds of little hidey holes. Remember these things are fortresses. This is built for defense. So you got to have all sorts of ways to shoot stuff at people <laughs> basically. All right. Yeah, I know those poor cats. Any tips for shadowing? The only thing I would, the, the thing that I would recommend for shading and for making all these shadows is first, always remember where your light's coming from. That's why I always put this arrow on there. And then use the side of your pencil and go super light, go super, super light. Um, so if the light's coming from kind of above and from the front, this is all really dark because this is setting back into the castle. The light's not gonna be able to get underneath this little lip. Same back here for our main door, okay? 
and then for shading all of these parts, if the light's coming from here, it's not going to be able to get around. This is a, a circle. So it's going to be able to get on this, this face, but right around here is where it starts to curl away from the light. And that's why we start the shading there. And I'm starting the shading all light and then we'll get it darker as we go. We can really push it, especially on these parts where it's like the back of this tower. I'll give a little example of what I'm talking about. I did it lightly here, but now if I come back and I want to put some more detail on there, I'm going to use the side of my pencil and I'm just pushing harder. That's all I'm doing. And I'm going to add more shadow, especially down here at the bottom. And especially here where it's up against the other tower. This is going to be really dark stuff back in here. There's no way that sunlight's going to be able to wrap around this tower and sneak around into this tower. Okay. And now that I have white, that light shadow, and then the darker shadow, every single layer of shading that you're going to put on is going to make it pop out more three-dimensional. A lot of these, a lot of these details really get lost in the, in the glares, in the glares and the low fidelity of the, uh, of the zoom slash document projector. Um, when is the light not coming from the top? <laughs> Look, hey, usually that's my choice, but this is not my choice. This is just how the photo was taken. This time I, this time it wasn't me. Okay. Um, the tops of these towers are kind of boring. I don't want to have the top of my tower look this boring. Also, the towers need to have cool castle-y stuff on them. They don't have any cool castle-y stuff on them. This is terrible. What are we going to do? I'll tell you what we're going to do. I've got the curve for the tops of all these towers. I'm going to erase that curve. I drew dark enough that I'm not going to lose it. Even if I erase it, I'm still going to see that curve. And I'm, I need it because I'm going to need to plan with it. Okay. Just like the front of our, of our castle here, where it's got these cool little, um, I wish I knew the technical term for it, but it basically, we're going to, it's kind of like frosting. <laughs> Put some little frosting bits. See these little curves that I'm making? They're a bunch of um, just little roundy shapes. Upside down U's, rounded A's. What do you want to call them? Okay, and I, they're just going to follow that planning line that I made all around this tower. See how I'm make, I got my tower here? And I'm making these little, they're rounded. Make sure that they're rounded at the top. It's not going to look right if they're not rounded at the top, okay? And just following, following my planned lines all the way around. Following the plans, following the plans. <laughs> Okay, got it, good. Because the next thing that we're gonna do, following that same line, okay? Here's that line that we planned. I'm gonna make another and I'm gonna make another line up above it. It's gonna follow it. This is just a planning line. Do not make this too dark. These should all be about the same thickness, okay? I'm gonna go about the same thickness for all these. And I'm just following that same curve, but I'm doing it up above. This one's gonna go all the way around. Over here, over here, over here. Okay, there, now they've got little caps on them. It's like we just put little lids on them. They kind of look like cupcake lids. Krennel. <laughs> Krennelation, that's it, yes. Oh, these words are coming back to me, okay. We just crenellated our castle, you guys. Hey, if anyone wants to know what you did during this bizarre time of uh, being locked up inside your own house, you just be like, I did a little crenellating on Wednesday. You know, no big deal. I love that. That'll work great at your Zoom dinner parties that you guys go to. Here we go. Let's put some ramparts on there. So the ramparts are the little uh, rectangle up and down bits. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Let's start here. I'm going to make a little flat line. I'm still, they're not totally flat because I'm trying to follow the shape, that curving line that I made up here. Okay. Dash it. That's, that's, that's the best way to start it. Here we go. Put kind of a dash line. Now that we've got that planning line, I'm going to put dark 
dashes. And the dashes are going to be thickest in the middle where our eye will see the full width of the rampart. And then they're going to get closer together as they go further away. OK, so here's my dashes getting closer together as they get further away and smaller. And then in between them, I'm just going to make little, we're going to connect them by going down, over, up, down, over, up. Down, over, up, 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 down, over, up. You guys get it. Do, do, do. All the way over. The whole thing. Okay. Now we've got ramparts on our towers. Now we've got a nice little tower going on. Now let's put let's put some cool details on there. Now that we've got the the ramparts, we got our crenellations, we're gonna need some windows. And I'm going to bring my little uh, visual aid in here because check it out. I've got a big window here. Th they are not symmetrical. I don't think. Is there a window here? Maybe. Cool windows up here. Big window there. Big window down here. You guys noticed that these ramparts all fell off a while ago. So I had to make up what the ramparts look like. And then we'll put a window up here and then some little ones over here and one in the middle. All right. Here we go. Curved at the top, straight lines down, slightly curved at the bottom. I'm going to put one window there. I'm going to put a big window right here, kind of right underneath it on that same line coming down. Put another one there. Put a little square, little square one over here. Yes, we will definitely draw bricks. Liam, that's a very good idea. Crownless like crown, exactly. Exactly, which is like Corona, which is like crown. I know. All roads, all roads right now lead, lead right back to that one spot. It's okay, Lucas. All of our brains cannot help but be moved to that one place. Um, this one's got a really cool back, kind of like backwards facing window on it over here. And maybe we'll do like another one like down in here. And then the back window's got one over here, or the back tower. It's got one here, and then it's got all these really cool ones that go all the way across. And again, I'm, it has to follow that same curve or you're gonna lose the effect of having a curved tower back there. If you make a straight line of these boxes, you're, you're gonna flatten out your tower. You don't wanna do that. Okay, I have, I have enough of this castle now that I need to do some erasing because all of these planning lines now are starting to ruin the effect of my castle. So I'm going to put on some really cool funky jams for my erasing montage. Oh, look at that. Look at that glare. Look at how amazing that glare is. Glare castle. Nice castle. Glare castle. Nice castle. All right. Tr try to focus on the positive, like funky jams. Oh, yeah. Get your eraser out. Oh yeah, gotta make funky jam face for a second. So you know I'm here. Pencil down, erasers out. Back to the drawing cam. Lily and Logan rocking it out. Okay, I'm gonna erase these lines. I remember where the light's coming from now. I'm gonna erase my light line, okay? I'm gonna erase these little planning lines that we started with disappear off into the distance. I'm going to erase these lines that come down here. I'm going to have to come back with my shadows to get those back. I definitely want to get rid of this one. I'm messing up this tower over here. Go away. Those are really the two that I needed. Ooh. Get a nice clean line on that front, that front piece of that tower. Oh, that's so much better. Hooray. Maybe a little trim, <laughs> a little tower trim there. A little bit over here as well. Get it down. All right. Fade it out. You always fade out in a montage. Fading out. Oh, yeah. All right. Erasing montage done. If you guys have more erasing to do, go for it. But what I want to do is... This has got, there's going to be some deep shadows 
along this wall. Let's do a little bit more of our shading, okay? And it's gonna start, it's gonna lighten up really fast because the sun is coming right on the front of this. But the angle of this wall is such that this tower is gonna start to disappear. And then back here, all this stuff back here on both the rampart and the tower, I'm gonna start dark in the back and I'm gonna lighten it up as I get out front. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna make this just a shade darker down there. And then here, remember this is all getting, I wanted, I, I erased it and it cleaned it up too much on my shadows. I don't want that. And I want it to be darker as it curls around to the back. So I am gonna go across just this very bad, oh, and the rampart, of course the rampart has to follow the same shading rules as my tower. That'll make it look like it's all part of the same shape. And if you want, underneath those crenellations, inside of each of those, um, the tops of each of those arches, if you make a real dark shadow, it'll push, it'll push that part of the castle into the shadows and it'll make those crenellations look like they're really popping out of the castle. It kind of does that just having the line, but if you put that little bit of dark shadow up there, really, really helps. Shadow, shadow. And if you say that, if you say shadow every time you put a shadow in, shadow. <laughs> also helps does it uh, yes i think <laughs> the castle is is sir chauncey i think that sir chauncey would be fun if like he's one of the characters that you just destroy in a different way every week you know there's like those sometimes there's those characters and either like spy versus spy anybody remember spy versus spy from old mad magazine <laughs> Okay, so I went a little bit darker here on that back side of that tower. I'm going to do the same thing over here on this one, and I got to shade this rampart as well. Okay. And I'm shading all of this all the way down. And I'm going to shade this wall. What are you drawing? I'm drawing a castle. Uh, is there not a dragon? Well... We're going to put wings on it. What? We're going to put wings on this castle and call it a, a castle dragon. Uh, does it have eyes in your mouth? Sure. Okay. Uh, guest appearance by my daughter, Stella Jean Benedetti. Bye -bye. So long. So I just ran in there with another quick layer of, sh of shading. Okay. And now, he's still, yep. Oh, thanks. And now. Now I got my pencil ready. You know what? We should put some ramparts along this, the top. We This straight line is really bugging me. I should have erased it. But I'm just going to do that same idea where I make little alternating rectangles across the top there to make it look a little bit more castle-like. How about that glare, ladies and gentlemen? How do you like that glare? Pretty good. So here's the different parts of the castle. One part always, always glared. So anyway, all I was saying is that Spy versus Spy, they, they they blow each other up every single episode. But then they're always back in the next one. And, you know, once it happens a few times, you kind of get the idea. You're like, oh, I get it. I get it. Okay. This is how we are going to make some stones on our castle. Please, please, oh, please, for the towers, you have to remember that every single line is curved. Everything on this tower has to be curved or you're going to flatten out your towers. So if you want, you can do like me, like I'm doing right now, where you put these little curved lines on there so that you don't forget. This is straight, but the lines are angled slightly off to my left. Okay. Okay. This is straight, but the lines are angling slightly off to my right. So that when I come in and I'm gonna make my tiny little, let me see if I can zoom in and show you a glare. How about that? Molten silver, holy cow. That is terrible. How can I show you? Okay, maybe right over here, I can show you some of the little rocks I'm gonna put on here. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna pick a few random spots and because I'm very far away from this castle, I'm just going to make very small little indications that there are textures and rocks going on. Maybe sometimes there's like big stones and I can see the big stones, but not all the time. 
but every single line has to follow that curve. So if I ever make a stone, I have to make sure that the stone, the marks on the stones are gonna follow the lines to show that the curve is still in effect. Curve rules, still in effect. Okay. Now, if there are some really detail-oriented artists in here, and if you guys want, go ahead and just start making tons and tons of little rocks and little bricks in your castle, okay? Every time that you do it, it'll add another just beautiful layer of like realism and detail to the castle that we're building. Because that's what we're doing today. We're building castles. No big deal. Just building castles on a Wednesday. It's kind of a rainy Wednesday over here in Petaluma. Old Petaluma, California. Ooh, yeah, you guys can definitely leave it black and white like in an old movie. I'm totally down. We can color it, leave it just shading. You can do so much with just a pencil as far as your... So I, all I'm doing here, you guys, is I just want to make indications on every single piece of this castle of, of the little bits of stonework. I'm not doing it on all of it. <laughs> Sienna, <laughs> you want to draw a dragon? All right, cool. Maybe on the top of this wall, I'm going to make just the barest indications that there's those ramparts again, just those little ups and downs, just so it doesn't, I, the straight lines are not, are not castle-y to me, okay? These were the bushes that were coming up the hillside. Now, now, my friends, if you want, you can, we could approach this a couple of different ways. Hmm. It's 1043. You, we've got 15 minutes. Okay. Here's, here's the idea. Uh, the idea, sometimes ideas sh shoot into the brain and you, you can't, sometimes the idea, yeah, River, if when we, we're going to go, after we draw, we all get to um, share a little bit and we get to show each other our drawings. So if you can please show us your cool Lego dragon, I would love to see it. But if we can wait, because I want to, I do want to get a dragon into this picture. And I, this is where it showed up for me. If you guys see it, like if you guys want to put a flying dragon in the sky, if you want a dragon to be hanging out on top of the tower over here. Awesome. My dragon showed up and I wish it hadn't facing the castle in the foreground. Here's its wings. Okay. Like it maybe just came in for a landing and on its back, it's got a rider on its back. Now I didn't, this is not what I wanted to draw. This is not easy to draw. I was hoping for something that would be easy to draw so that it would happen in 15 minutes, but that's, I didn't get, I did not fish my wish. Okay, here are the reins. This is me, this is, <laughs> this is Geo, Geo in the raw, sketching away here. Okay, so this arm is gonna be maybe out to the side, holding, uh, I don't know, a lance. Maybe people that ride around on dragons have lances. And here's the body of the dragon. Here's the tail. Maybe the tail's coming around this way. Here's the other wings over here. And this is the kind of thing where I, I'll get the idea now. There's maybe where the eye of the dragon would be. And there'd be horns coming back here. This one I'd be able to see more because it wouldn't be coming as much toward my point of reference. There's a little spiky chin. You guys do not have to draw this. If you want to try and draw this with me, that's great. I'm trying to figure out how to draw it while I'm drawing it. So be warned. Be warned, mon frères. It's going to be a lot of erasing. There's like the elbow and then up here would be the big old hook for where that dragon wing would be. 17 minutes, 15 minutes. All right. That's where the fingerlings of that wing will come out. 
curving back to the body. And this is just kind of like unfurled wing. Like my idea was like this person over here, I think this dragon riding person get some flowing hair on there just to get some movement. The hair is probably too big right now, but just so I don't forget that that's what I want. Um, they've been on a long adventure and they're finally, this is the castle that they were supposed to get to. But before they get there, they're like landing in the field out front because they're like, is this what's going on here? Assessing the situation like any good dragon riding scout would. And she's, she's good. I mean, clearly she's really good. Too f I know, Clyde. Sorry. I'm going too fast for myself too, but I'm just trying to sketch a whole bunch of ideas down. So here, let me, let me start again. And in these last 15 minutes, let me see if I can pull this together. Cause I think we can. Okay. But all of those, see all those scribbly sketchy lines. That's how I have to get the idea out. Otherwise sometimes it, it escapes. Okay. So here's the neck of the dragon and the dragon is looking forward. That's what this little curved line is. That's where the neck is ending and the head is beginning. So maybe the head is here. Maybe the head's going to be. I want it to be pointed towards this castle here, right? So I want the center line is going to be here. You're going to be missing that. You're going to see the side of its face only. This is just the side of the dragon's face and it's facing away. So I'm not going to see much, but I am going to see chin spikes and jaw spikes are going to be coming out this way. Okay. And maybe there's an eye probably right about there. I still want to get a little bit of the hook of where like that, the, the front of that dragon's mouth would be. And you're going to see the left, the, the rise of that left nostril, maybe the, the very little teeny bit of the, the nostril to the side of it. Bye, Naomi. I know it's confusing. I know. All right. And then here's where the dragon's head would come up. This line here, so that you can see, this is like the top of the dragon's head. This is the snout. Maybe there's some little spikes along the side. And then here is where the horns would be. So I got one horn coming back like this. I've got another horn that's going to be coming back. A little bit off to the side there like that. And then down here, down that center line, right here is where the saddle is gonna be, okay? That's a dragon saddle. Right above where the shoulders would be. You don't wanna be, you don't wanna be too close to where the wings are gonna be going up and down. You get knocked right off. Okay, so I'm gonna have to put a rider on that saddle. But to, to finish this body, let me just finish this body. I'm gonna curl the tail around this way. A little bit like so. Hmm. I'm probably going to correct a bunch of this after we finish our session. And then I'll, I'm tucking another leg underneath this wing because the other leg would be here, hidden by the wing in the grasses. And then I'd put my rider over here. I'd see the side of my rider sitting here and the legs would come up here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I want them leaning forward a little bit. All right. You guys, this scribbly mess is not going to shape up into a, a real finished product in the next 10 minutes, I don't think. If it does, it's just going to go fast. But I can, I can work on this dragon for you. I can show you what I'm thinking for the dragon. My rider is probably going to have to wait though. So if you guys want to do a dragon rider in there, you can put a dragon rider in there. Here's the tip of that wing. Here are those. The other fingerlings of the wing and there's my wing wall. 
and we're going to erase everything in there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Sometimes what happens, you guys, like the castle, I really wanted to do the castle. Do we draw now, Tatum? You can, you can draw whenever. Whenever you can jump onto this train, jump onto the train, you guys. Jump on board. What happens is after we do the castle, I'm like, yeah, I really want to do this castle. This is going to be good. And then we do the castle. And then after that's done, I don't really have a clear idea of what the next thing's going to be. So then, then it's just imagination time. You guys just got to hang on. Okay. These are all the little fold lines to show you that there's some texture to the skin. And this wing that's coming off the other side. Oh, look at all these scribbles. I don't, do you guys like scribbles? I get the sense that other people don't like scribbling as much as I do. I love scribbling. Scribbling's the best. Okay, here's that other arm going out here. And we're losing this wing right off the extreme edge of the page. Here's the grasses. This is just a grassy field. Okay. It's so it's so hard too because these small details. When I'm when I'm <laughs> on this little zoom camera, sometimes the the details are really hard to communicate and show, especially when it's all it gets all fuzzy from my erasing and penciling and erasing. So I'll see what I can do here to clean this up. I'll see if I can find a little something here. Okay, we had our dragon's head. I like the dragon's head, fine with that. We got the horn coming off the other side and you've got the neck coming right over here for a saddle, right? And then we want our rider leaning forward. So we're not gonna be able to see the front of the saddle. I gotta erase the front of the saddle. Shoot, might as well erase the back of the saddle while we're at it. Here's our dragon rider leaning forward. That's the torso. That's the side. There's the butt. There's front leg down in the stirrups. The other leg is going off the other side of the dragon here. Here's the back of the saddle would be about right there. I don't know if you guys can really look, it's so tiny. It's just so tiny. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that you guys can at least get into the spirit of what I'm drawing, even if it's too small to even follow along. Okay. Maybe that's leaning forward too much. Yeah, there we go. Maybe the head leans forward a little bit, but the head's looking up, a little bit looking up at the castle. This arm, I like the idea that this arm is still holding like either the staff or the spear or whatever. And that it's like extra big because you're on a dragon. That's kind of a cool idea. Still like that. That got a little out of hand, so I'm going to have to clean that up, but all in good time. Now that I've got a head that's about the right size, I can put that wavy hair back on there. Maybe like tons of it, just tons. Because we're kind of looking at it from the back of this person. So maybe, maybe the occasional one that's like going off, but mainly flowing back and then here's an arm coming out this way a little elbow on it and a glove holding on to the reins maybe this dragon's got like a big old riding collar on it maybe that's what that is right there and here's our saddle yes all right that's enough for now that's enough for now. It's going to stop me when I get into my, my teeny little drawing world. Teeny drawing world. Okay. Here's where the, the wing is attached to the side of the dragon's body here. And I'll do the center line coming back, which I can show by drawing these spikes along the back of the tail. And now 
I have something in my foreground. I have a dragon in my foreground in this grassy field, just came down to perch for a minute. And maybe I'll do some more little, just like little, little indications of texture, just little stuff. And then over here, I've got the bushes going up the hill. You know, every once in a while, I'll make like little marks so that you get the idea that there's more, more stuff going on on this hill than just, and it'll always follow, always following the, the shape of that hill like we talked about at the very, very beginning. You know, I'll put some little shadows in there for some of the grasses and stuff. And then have it kind of coming off over here. There we go. And if you want, you can, uh, it's always fun to put up banners and stuff. So if you want like a, a pole, one of these towers flying the flag of the castle, those are cool little details to put in at the end. Um, so today was more like draw a castle and then watch as Geo erases a bunch of ideas for a dragon. That would be the official title of today's uh, show, but that doesn't have as nice of a ring to it as draw a dragon, even if you didn't really draw a dragon today. But hopefully you kind of drew a dragon. Uh, that was really fun. Thank you guys for drawing, man. And then, okay, you just can never stop. Here's what I would do. If I was you guys and it was Wednesday, I would probably just put on my favorite album of the moment. I don't even know what that would be, but whatever you like listening to, I would put it on and then I would come back to all this castle stuff and I would put darker lines where the darker lines would be, where the sun really wouldn't be able to get. And I would put really dark lines along the backs of these towers and a real dark line down where this wall is. And then I would probably just come in. Oh man back of this tower would get a lot darker and then always fading it out to where the light would be getting to fade it out this would be dark and you can just keep pushing the darkness and the shadows and that will make the the it'll make the castle just come alive and then you make all these little rocks and stones on there and next thing you know it's thursday and it's time to draw a dragon again and tomorrow we get to draw a dragon with um, Alexis Fajardo from Kid Beowulf. He makes his own comic books. He's a wonderful cartoonist. He's gonna uh, he's gonna lead our class tomorrow, so that's gonna be super awesome. And between now and then, you're just gonna be drawing bricks. So it sounds like you've got a <laughs> Gabriel. Yes, I'm gonna make my hand invisible. I got invisible hands coming in the mail, and draw the dragon now because I'm about to play the end credits and say my goodbyes. But stick around for the show and tell because we're gonna do the uh, Zoom show and tell as soon as I finish my end credits here. But first, there we go. Hey guys, we drew a castle today on Draw a Dragon. And then I kinda, I kinda drew a dragon. And whatever we did, thanks for joining me. Thanks for drawing with me and thanks for hanging out. It's always fun, 10 a.m. Uh, if you guys want to check out the website, drawadragon.org, drawadragon.org. There's all kinds of stuff there. Donation information is there. Venmo or PayPal if you want to support Draw Dragon. I would never support anything that uses black and white pencils. You must paint with oils, Geo. You must see the way. Oh, hi guys. This is Darth Bob Ross. He's he's got a he's kind of had a thing going on for a while now. He's got a problem. You have a problem, Gio. <laughs> Your problem is you don't paint with two inch brushes and oils. I disp Okay. You know what? Let's keep some positivity around here. Darth Bob Ross. We're going to convert him by the end of uh, the week. I just know it. Stick around tomorrow. We have Alexis Fajardo coming. <laughs> Any more puppets coming? Looking both ways? No? Okay, good. Holy cow. Save yourself.